The 24 Best Places to Travel in 2024 Almost everyone went somewhere this year, but there are still places to go. Lots of places. So what are the best destinations for travel in 2024? The unprecedented demand for travel we saw last year continued in 2023, says Zane Borer, Vice President and General Manager of Ovation Network. Here's their list of the best places to travel in 2023, and here's the 2022 list, the 2021 list and the 2020 list. 1. Sardinia, Italy. Why visit? Sardinia lures travelers with its luxurious Costa Smeralda, immaculate beaches, and high-end boutique shops. You can explore coastal villages, enjoy fine dining, and indulge in rich local experiences. Who should go? Beach lovers, food enthusiasts, and Italophiles. History buffs can explore ruins, and culinary aficionados can savor seafood and unique Kazu Martsu cheese, which contains live insect larvae. Don't miss. Costa Smeralda's breathtaking beaches like Porto Servo Beach, coastal villages, and private yacht charters. The Kazu Martsu is optional. You can explore the Orisei Gulf, visit Orgosolo for street art, or venture into Gorapu, one of Europe's largest canyons, says Fatma Ujeller, a travel advisor with Ovation Network. 2. Erla, Turkey. Why visit? Erla, a quiet Aegean coastal town just half an hour from Izmir, is famous for its wineries and vibrant art scene. Who should go? Erla calls out to those wanting a real cultural experience, wine enthusiasts, adventure-seeking kite surfers, and those yearning for a peaceful seaside escape. Don't miss. Dining family style at a waterfront restaurant. To savor most of the menu in one unforgettable meal, order a variety of mise and a fish, says Ovation Network travel advisor Crystal Lore, who adds, don't forget to try Reiki and Turkish coffee. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. 3. Nisiko, Japan. Why visit? If you want to experience an unforgettable winter destination outside of the usual U.S. or European spots, Nisiko is worth a visit. T is the top ski area in Japan, and it has many activities on and off the slopes. Who should go? Avid skiers and anyone who wants an alternative to mountain resorts in the U.S. and Europe, or who wants to experience new parts of Japan that they may have not visited. Don't miss. Make sure to take in one of the many onsens in the area. These are Japanese hot spring spas and are incredibly relaxing on a day off the slopes, says James Katz, a travel advisor. The best are at the Greenleaf Hotel or Yugokorote Onsen. 4. Jeju, South Korea. Why visit? Located right off the coast of the Korean peninsula, Jeju has been designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site that seems a world away from Seoul. It even has its own local dialect and culture. The volcanic island has a tropical climate but is more than just beaches with crystalline water. The lava caves are a marvel, with some of the longest stalagmites in the world, says Ovation Network travel advisor Sylvia Lebovich. Who should go? Active travelers, surfers, hikers, and geology enthusiasts will all enjoy Jeju. Don't miss. Don't miss a hike up the caldera full of vegetation. You can trek all the way up to the volcano's crater lip since it is dormant and has not erupted in over 7,000 years. 5. Orkhon Valley, Mongolia. Why visit? The Orkhon Valley is known for its natural beauty and nomadic culture. You can explore lush landscapes, ancient monuments, and traditional jeer camps, all while enjoying outdoor adventures like horseback riding and hiking. It's a tranquil escape where you can reconnect with nature and discover Mongolia's countryside. Who should go? Anyone looking for cultural immersion and natural beauty, as well as sports enthusiasts looking for polo experiences. Don't miss. When visiting the Orkhon Valley, don't miss the awe-inspiring Orkhon Waterfall, and historical sites like Erdin Zoo Monastery, says Benjamin Gluck, a travel advisor. 6. Goa, India. Why visit? Its sandy beaches and sunny weather attract people from everywhere. Visitors compare Goa to the exotic destinations like Hawaii, but much less expensive and with a Portuguese influence. Who should go? Great for beach lovers. Goa attracts single travelers, families and honeymooners. Don't miss the world-famous Basilica of Bomb Jesus Church and Asia's only naval museum. Goa hosts the largest floating casino in Asia, and the traditional seafood cuisine is a must, recommends Harley Rosenberg, a travel advisor. 7. Oaxaca, Mexico. Why visit? Oaxaca is primarily known for its indigenous people, the Zapotecs, who account for 40% of Mexico's indigenous population. Rich in UNESCO World Heritage Food, Mezcal, archaeology, nature and a great knowledge of spiritual energy, Oaxaca should be on everyone's bucket list, advises Terry Bari, a travel advisor. 
Who should go? Oaxaca is for anyone who appreciates an immersive experience including art, gastronomy, history and a true untouched destination with an authentic experiences. Don't miss. Don't miss the local flavors, including the Tejate energy drink, made from corn with a foam from white cocoa bean called patlaxtal. The popular Talayuda tortilla is native to the state of Oaxaca and is regarded as iconic in the local cuisine. 8. Comporta, Portugal. Why visit? A rustic paradise near Lisbon with unspoiled beaches, Comporta charms you with understated and sublime luxury. Who should go? Beach lovers, birdwatching enthusiasts and families looking for a relaxing vacation. Don't miss. You should not miss a lunch at Ilha do Arroz, says Uncle Gandhi, a travel advisor, who adds, you must try the fresh locally caught scarlet prawns and the fan favorite in Portugal, Iberico Belota ham. Thanks for watching.